Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another MapPilot tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, we're going to look at another example how to create animation with MapPilot. So before we start the tutorial, I just want to just give you a quick demo on what we'll be doing in this uh, exercise. So this is the graph that we'll be creating. Uh, inside this uh, graph, we have a scatter plot, which is right in the middle. We're also going to insert kind of like a, a trend line that indicating the trend um, based on the scattered uh, data points. And on the bottom, we have the, the label that indicating the, the time steps of the trend line. Now let me close this window and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the libraries. And from matplotlib module dot animation, we're going to import the func animation class. Next, I'm going to create my figure and my x objects. So I'm going to set the tights layout to two. Uh, now here I'm going to actually uh, create a message. I'm going to print the, the figure size as well as uh, the size in inches. size inches. Now we need some data. So I'll use the NumPy uh, module to generate some random data. And between 0 to, uh, to 19 you know, with the interval 0 0.1. Let me just double check what the data looks like. Okay, so from 0 to 19.9. Now we have the data point, so we can go ahead and uh, plot our scattered plot. I'll provide my x uh, data points. And here for the y um, values, I'll basically uh, use x plus uh, random da normal. And I'll set the, the range between 0 and the 3. Yeah, I need, uh, so let me see how many data points this is. So 200 uh, data points. And here I'll graph my line graph. So for the y values, I'll use x minus 5. And it's going to be a red uh, straight line uh, marker. And I'll set the line width to 2. Now if, now if we simply just graph the, the chart right now. And this is what the graph looks like. We have the scatter chart right in the middle. And here's our straight line uh, that indicating the, uh, the trend. And now we have to make this uh, straight line as an animation. And to do that, we need a function to basically create kind of like a frame. So if you have shoot any videos, usually you will hear something like uh, 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 50 frames per second, things like that. And that just means uh, within a second, you have how many images or how many frames in a second. Now we need to create a function basically to uh, insert in the frame. So I'll name this function uh, update. And this update uh, function is going to have a parameter i. And inside this function, I'm going to create a label. And this could be i plus 1. And here's where we're going to update the line graph. And we're only going to 
update the y value. It will pass uh, the i value here. So, uh, so the new formula will be x minus 5 plus i. I'll set my label, so the x label, uh, with the label variable, this, uh, this variable right here. And lastly, we need to return the line object and the x object. And that's it. Uh, now we can go ahead and create our animation. So to create animation, we'll use the func animation class. We'll provide the figure object. And here for the second parameter, we want to pass the function basically to perform the graph updating. And here I'm going to set the repeat to 2. Now this is a very important uh, parameter, frames. The frame is going to, so you're going to pass whether a list or any type of uh, array uh, object. And I'm going to use the numpy arrange uh, function. I'm going to pass the value between uh, 0 to 10. So here let me do this. So let me just import numpy as np. And if we print uh, np dot range between 0 to 10, and we're going to pass the value between 0 to 9. Oh, and I also want to set the interval to let's do half a second. We'll use the value of 500, and that's it. Now, if I save and run the, the script, and here's our animation. So on the bottom, we see the label is updating based on the position of the line graph. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.